Let's talk about energy and let's talk about winning. Years ago, I came up with this concept called the win-win formula. When I owned my own personal training studio, it was actually something I took around and shared at different industry events, wrote articles about it, and now it's very commonplace within the industry. And essentially what it was, is at the time, the way personal training was done, it was in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But as I grew my own business and started to expand, I started to raise my rates more and more. And eventually I reached a point where, you know, not everybody could afford that, but I still wanted people to have an opportunity to work with me. And so what I did is I created a group training model, which again now is very commonplace, but at the time it was unique. No one was really doing that. It was just one-on-one -on -one training. What I did is I allowed my clients the opportunity if they didn't want to pay the one-on-one -on -one price, they could work on a group model and they would share the cost with other people. And what that did is create a situation where they could still train even at a reduced rate and train with other people. And I actually got the same dollar amount, if not more than I was in my one-on-one -on -one sessions. And that created the win-win model. But what I've realized over the years is that we're always looking to create this type of win-win scenario. Even in relationships and even in friendships, we're still trying to create this win-win exchange. A relationship is working for you and the other if you're both adding value to each other. If your connection is bringing you further into alignment in your own life and also their life. And alignment looks like I have a connection to the earth, the ground, where I come from, and a deep inner alignment to myself, an inner awareness, and also an alignment to what is greater than me. When we align those three things, life unfolds for us in a beautiful way. You will often experience synchronicity, meaning things just kind of happen for you or arrive exactly when you need them. And that is how you know you're in alignment. You're just moving forward, kind of putting one foot in front of the other. Relationships should add that same harmonious flow. You're naturally kind of moving forward and adding value to each other. So we're always looking for ways to do that in our life as well as in our business. In business, we're always looking to continually add value and deliver results. When we do that, the client is obviously winning or the person who bought your product is obviously winning. And also what that does is allow you the opportunity to continually raise your rates or charge more for your product, as long as it always matches the value. When you're in that energetic exchange, it's a win-win. If we follow that harmonious pattern, it adds abundance into our life. But if we're always looking to take, like we feel very scarce, that will push you further into scarcity energy. When you're stuck in scarcity energy, there will always be a separation between you and other people and the desires and goals that you have in life as well as how you model that for them. So what I want you to do is to do a deep audit in your own life and make sure all your relationships are win-wins, that they're working for you as well as the other person. And sometimes for us, that means we have to listen more. We have to support people. We have to encourage people. Take that into a frame of mentoring. We should always be looking to be mentored, having people who are further down the road or who people can kind of find our blind spots for us and supporting us in our journey, as well as we should be doing the same for others. We should be mentoring other people. And that is a win-win energy. And you're kind of the synergistic point in between those two energies, which naturally helps you grow and prosper. It's a very abundant type of energy. But if you're only in the frame of like, I want to be mentored and I'm not gonna share this information with anyone else, then you're in a scarcity frame and we're moving further away from our goals and further out of alignment. So what I want you to do is do an audit of your own life as well as your business if you have one, is to look deeply into it. Am I creating a win-win situation in everything that I do? Does your leadership create opportunities for growth and expansion for the people that you lead? Are you naturally moving people forward and supporting others along the way? There's a powerful energy when we take the focus off of ourselves and we put it on to other people. As a note of caution, you always wanna make sure you understand boundaries and don't overextend yourself or feel like you're bending in your relationship or your business too much. Because eventually when we bend too much, we start to break. For me, what that looked like is years ago, I used to really wanna help people. That's a beautiful energy. But what I did was overextend myself. I was always people pleasing. I was always bending to appease other people. And what happened is I began to feel burned out, exhausted, and literally came to a place in my life where I was like, I don't wanna help anyone because I gave so much of my energy away without equal reciprocation. And so that's how you know the balance in life. Is this person, is this situation, is this business opportunity taking me further away from myself? I believe our yes has no power until we have a strong no. It's okay to say no to things, but be deeply rooted and connect to the reasons why you're saying no. And when you can show up for yourself, it naturally then allows you to have a powerful yes. 
when you decide to move on this opportunity, then it comes from a deeper place that's meaningful and significant to you. That will naturally create balance and flow in your life and you won't feel overextended. You won't feel like you're bending too much because again, if we bend too much, we break. And so the goal is in your life, and in your business, always do an audit and ask yourself the question, am I creating win-win scenarios for myself and am I receiving that from others? That is how you stay in harmony and you avoid burnout. I hope you enjoyed this video. I make them for you. I care about you. I wanna see you succeed on massive levels. And not only succeed, I wanna see you have a beautiful, happy life that's full of love and reciprocation. So if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one as well. And until next time, peace.